A brief summary of the experiment is that the coefficient of static friction is a number usually between 0.01 and 1, and also measures the ability of two, surface, two surfaces to slide past one another. When this number is very high, there is a lot of friction between the two surfaces. When it is small, there is a little friction. Kinetic friction. That is the friction force that does not disappear per acts on the motion. So the force that opposes the motion is called kinetic friction. The formula for kinetic friction is equal to steric friction force equal to the co coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. Static is a part of dynamics and is responsible for analyzing the balance of the bodies. Static friction is equal to the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. Free body diagram. That is a sketch that shows all the forces acting on an object. Free body. Now, for the independent variable, it is the material that each team chooses to do their experiment, and theoretically, the coefficient of friction. And for the dependent variable, is the angle of displacement along with the time it takes to slide. experiment, we register the values of the angle in each object. In the object one, we, get, we got uh, values from 25 to 30 degrees. In the object two, uh, we got uh, uh, values of the angle from 24 to 30 degrees. And the object three, we got uh, values between uh, 26 and 33 degrees. Uh, then we added uh, all the values in the different objects and then uh, we divided uh, by by 10 which is the number of the attempts in in the experiment uh, the this is to uh, obtain the the average of the critical angle uh, in the object one the critical angle was uh, 27.6 in the object 2, uh, the critical angle was 27.7, uh, and in the object 3, the critical angle uh, was 28.6. Uh, finally, uh, we calculate the, uh, the coefficient of static friction of the superface, uh, uh, in which in this case is the contact plastic. Uh, to calculate this, we just uh, calculate the tangent of the critical angle. So the in the object one, the coefficient of the static friction 
uh, was 0 0.5 uh, 23 in the object 2 was 0 0.5 uh, 25 and in the object 3 was 0 0.5 uh, 45 uh, these are interesting values because all of them uh, are so similar. We can conclude that there are forces on the x-axis and on the y. On the y-axis, the object doesn't move. The normal force will be equal to the force exerted by the weight in y, which can be simplified as the weight by the cosine of the angle. The movement x doesn't occur until the static force reaches its maximum expression. The force in x is going to be zero, so we can say that the friction force is going to be equal to the weight of the object per cosine of the angle. Using the formula static friction is equal to the coefficient of friction by normal force, the formula remains in the friction coefficient is equal to sine between cosine of the angle, which is summarized as the tangent of the angle. In this experiment, we put into practice our knowledge acquired in class about static friction, as well as we could better understand about those concepts that were not clear to us. In addition, we were able to perform the calculations to obtain static friction, realizing that it's important to take into account many factors, including the angle of inclination.